Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide of a biopsy of the sigmoid colon from a case of ulcerative colitis. First of all, let's have a look at the crypt architecture on low magnification. And we can see here in this piece that there is quite a bit of distortion and disruption of the normal crypt architecture. There are some atrophic small crypts here. They are spaced wider apart than usual. Over here, there is a suggestion of branching of the crypts. And if you look in this area, this is the base of the mucosa and this is the thickness of the mucosa. We can see that there is shortening of the crypts, meaning that the crypts do not reach right to the base of the mucosa as they should. Here again, there is a suggestion of shortening of the crypts. This disruption in crypt architecture is a feature of chronicity or chronic inflammation in the colon. Another feature of chronic inflammation that we can see here is the presence of a lot of plasma cells at the basal part of the mucosa, and this is known as basal plasma cytosis. So we have seen two features of chronic inflammation, which is architectural distortion of the crypts and basal plasma cytosis. A third feature of chronicity is paneth cell metaplasia, which we do not see in this particular case. And we would, of course, look for this in biopsies from the distal colon. Now let's look for some features of active inflammation or of activity. And if we look more closely in this area, we can see that there are a few neutrophils that are infiltrating into the crypt epithelium. This is known as cryptitis, and this is a feature of activity or active inflammation. We can also see some evidence of cryptitis here with the neutrophils infiltrating right into the epithelium of the crypts. Let's look at another case to see another feature of activity. Here is another example of ulcerative colitis, and we can see that there are aggregates of neutrophils sitting within the lumina of the crypts, and these are known as crypt abscesses. Crypt abscesses are another feature of activity. And we can also see in this particular biopsy that there is acute ulcer exudate here. There is a fibrino-inflammatory ulcer exudate with fibrin and lots of neutrophils. This is evidence of mucosal ulceration, and that is also a feature of activity. We are now looking at the two cases side by side. So in summary, these are examples of ulcerative colitis, and we have evidence of activity or active inflammation, including crypt abscesses, as well as evidence of cryptitis and some ulcer exudates. We also have features of chronic inflammation or chronicity, such as crypt architectural distortion, atrophy, branching, as well as shortening of the crypts, and basal plasma cytosis. We do not see granulomas in these two biopsies, and the presence of granulomas may suggest the possibility of Crohn's disease, which is another common inflammatory bowel disease. Also, it would be important to look for dysplasia, which can be present in long-standing cases of inflammatory bowel disease, and that may be a danger sign of potential progression to adenocarcinoma. And we don't see any evidence of dysplasia in these two biopsies. Thank you.